Hello everyone, my name is Evan Jacobs and you are watching Boxing Time TV. I've been a little bit under the weather so it's been a couple of weeks since I've done one of these. This is a um, afternoon um, weekday Boxing Time update. I am just uh, getting, you know, I'm just trying to get through these in, in you know, in a timely manner because I, I, you know, I missed some fights because I wasn't able to do them and I, I feel bad. I, I want to make Boxing Time TV the place for simulated content, and let's just get right to this. We have a really good fight tonight. Trevante Davis versus Jesus Queller, uh, or Keller, or it's uh, two very, very hard-hitting fighters, and um, this is on the undercard of the Broner, Broner Vargas bout. Um, let's just uh, get going and uh, do this. Um, we see that Davis is 23. He's already accomplished a lot, already, already you know, won a, won a, won a belt of sorts. And then, um, and then you have uh, Jesus Queller's 31. Trevante Davis is 5'5". Uh, five, five. Jesus Queller's 5'6". They're both 130. Trevante Davis, which I'm surprised that Trevante Davis is fighting at this. I thought that, that this was going to be at, um, at uh, uh, lightweight. But uh, this bout is actually for a uh, vacant um, WBA super featherweight belt. Um, Davis uh, has a 67 uh, centimeter reach, I believe it is, and Queller has a 68. Um, Javante Davis has 19 fights with uh, 18 KOs, and Queller comes to us with a record of 28, um, 28 fights, 21 knockouts, uh, two losses, one by uh, KO. So we're just going to get right to this. Schedule for 12 rounds, 3-minute rounds, 10-point must scoring system, no mandatory 8-count, 3-knockdown rule waived. Let's get right to it. Trevante Davis versus Jesus Queller. This is happening uh, April 20, 21st. So we come out now, and Trevante Davis kind of taking it to Queller. Wanting to, wanting to make a statement early. Um, you know, I can't say, I can't say that I blame him. He backs Queller up into the, uh, into the, into the ropes. And, um, he, and he's got him there and he, and he lands a left hand. And, and um, I, I think Javante Davis is going to try to test him early. I think Javante Davis wants to make this an early night. I believe he probably knows that, uh, Queller is a durable guy, a tough guy. And he doesn't want to have him in the ring with him any longer than he needs to have him in the ring. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Like I said, getting over being sick. And you have uh, Queller jabbing um, and, and trying to do... Oh, Javante Davis lands a right hand and it gets Jesus Queller's attention. Already, Javante Davis having... Uh, Having a lot of having a lot of success or not, he just seems to be the bigger guy. Seems like Javante Davis should go up in weight. Um, seems to be able to bull uh, Jesus Queller around the ring. Oh, Davis lands on him again. Another left hand. Javante Davis really showing a lot of power in this fight. The way that the, the way that he's landing, the way that he's countering, and um, it all seems to be playing very much in his in his in his favor. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to see if that um, continues here as we uh, as we as we continue down this down this path. <coughs> so we have. Um, so we have. All right, Javante Davis just. Just looking to you know, kind of, kind of continue to, continue to, you know, be, be in charge and be the boss of the ring. Seems to, you know, skill set wise, just have Jesus Queller somewhat befuddled now. But Queller does hit hard. He's a durable guy, and you know, maybe he starts slow, and and perhaps Trevante Davis is gonna potentially get himself in a situation where he's he's not, you know, he's not prepared for what Jesus Queller is going to do. Um, Javante Davis landing, landing right there, um, really, really well, really, really strong. Um, we will, we will have to see kind of what what happens now. Um,
All right. So Javante Davis getting 10-8 on one judge's scorecard, 10-9. And wow, one judge giving it to Jesus Quellar. So Quellar here, I thought, had just been totally blown out, totally outclassed. We go into the second round, and Javante Davis is, is I mean, I don't know how that one judge saw it that way. He, Javante Davis wobbled Jesus Quellar twice, kind of pulled him in. The, oh, look at Javante Davis landing a left hand. Wow, flush on the chin of Jesus Quellar. Wow, what a, wow, that was very, very impressive. So far, Javante Davis seems to be in a position where every time he really hits Jesus Queller hard, he hurts him. And, and, and he comes forward, and Jesus Queller stuffs Javante Davis with a left hand. Davis has to be smart. Queller hits very, very hard. Once again, my name's Evan Jacobs. Please follow me on Instagram, Boxing Time with, with Evan. Um, you are watching Boxing Time TV. I want to make this the hub, the, hub, the site for um, simulated content. So please tune in. Please tell, please tell your friends. Please tell anyone that you think would would care about this because we're just going to keep loading this site with fights. I, I, I caught a cold not too not too long ago, and so I was a bit under the weather. But um, but I'm back now. After this, I'm going to be doing the Broner Vargas fight because. Uh, Broner, I, I, actually, I actually did the fight that Broner was supposed to be doing. Um, Adrian Broner was going to be fighting, um, oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting the guys, I'm forgetting the guys, the guy's name. I, I, I did that fight, um, but, but it's, uh, it's it, it ended up not not happening. So now he's fighting Jesse Vargas as the headlining bout on the 21st, and so I'm going to do that next. Then I'm going to do um, uh, Daniel Jacobs versus Selecki, um, and then uh, Vasil Lomachenko versus Jorge Le Lenares, which should be a good fight. Then I'm going to do Lee Selby versus Warrington, and then Adonis Stevenson Badu Jack, and then whatever other fights come up, whatever other fights I can kind of put in here and kind of hype. And because basically what I've done is I turned my Instagram into a thing where I give opinions, and then I hype these fights if it's the week of the fight. Like right now, we're hyping uh, the uh, Joseph Parker fight. Um, Joseph, that, that, that's coming up, the big heavyweight fight, Joseph Parker versus, um, versus uh, Anthony, Anthony Joshua. And that bout um, is uh, coming up, and, and, it, and, it, and it should be a pretty good fight. And right now, I, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing from Javante Davis. I mean, he is just pounding Jesus Queller. If the real fight is like this... Javante Davis is going to make a lot of people believers just because Queller is a durable guy, sturdy guy, but Davis is 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 landing hard and, and is very very you know is fighting well. Although he did just get tagged. Let's see what the judges say after the second round. Very very you know Javante Davis is one of those guys. He has a lot of juice, and so he got ten eight from one judge, ten eight from another judge. He's going to get 10-9 from another judge. There's something about that last judge. That, that, that last judge doesn't seem to be as impressed as we are. But Javante Davis is already up um, seven points across two, two rounds. So, you know, he's, he, he's making a case for himself in this, in this fight. He's fighting very, very well. He's jabbing. He's just touching. He's really, really sharp tonight. So we'll see if Jesus Queller can do something to sort of negate that or, or you know, just, just something along those lines. But man, I give Javante Davis a lot of credit because he's standing in the lion's den and, you know, oh, but, you know, he's getting punched now from Jesus Queller. And the question is, if Jesus Queller can go to the body, if he can punch Javante Davis in such a way to sort of negate what, 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 you know, Javante Davis is trying to do. But Javante Davis is so quick. And the way he's landing those shots, it's almost like Jesus Queller doesn't see what's, what's happening in front of him. <laughs> so here's Javante Davis fighting uh, Jesus, Jesus Queller. Queller kind of coming, coming forward now. Davis really doing good work with that, with that, with that left hand. Going to the body nicely against against Jesus Queller. 
sorry you guys are gonna hear me blow my blow my nose. I I do apologize. Oh, Javante going to the body again. And that's the thing that's gonna take a lot out of Jesus Clover. Javante Davis can continue to fight from a distance the way he's fighting, continue to land in the body and come up top. It's going to be very, very difficult for um, Jesus Cuellar to get back in this fight. Because Javante Davis is becoming very comfortable. And Javante Davis is, is, is controlling the tempo of this fight. He's controlling a lot of, a lot of the, just a lot of the rhythms of the fight. And he has Jesus Cuellar in a position where Cuellar doesn't really want to do anything. Well, right there, had that right hand landed from Jesus Cuellar, who knows, that could have maybe changed the tenor of the fight a little, a little bit. Cuellar going, going to the body. It's just, it's odd seeing, you know, Queller, what, what he's got to do is he really just needs to let his hand go. But the problem is he lets him go, and that's when Javante Davis sort of capitalizes on him. Oh, Jesus Queller slowly maybe coming back a little bit. Davis going to the body. Pot pot shotting. We'll see what the judges say after this after this round. Both guys are breathing heavy. One judge having it even. Um, another judge giving it to Javante Davis. And another judge giving it to Javante Davis. So let's see what happens now. Javante Davis is now up three rounds. And so essentially Queller's lost every round. But is he doing some things to sort of get back into this? And he lands both a uh, left and he, and, he, and, he, and he lands a right. So he could potentially be figuring out Javante Davis a little bit. It's going to be interesting to see if Javante Davis can, can continue this, this, this kind of assault. Oh, Javante Davis landing. And, it's, and, and just continuing to just want to break down Jesus, Jesus Queller. Oh, look at and look at that. Jesus Queller, you know, just doing the sort of subtle things, those those things that sort of Im implementing, you know, and, and Queller's a southpaw too. Both these guys are both these guys are southpaws. So it um it's 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 not making, you know, it, it neither guy is uh is, is, is having that easy of a time is having that easy of a time with it. Oh, and, and look at Javante Davis just just, just landing really, really hard, really, really strong punches, breaking down Jesus Quella in the middle of the ring. Something that's something that's so impressive. And yeah, as I as I look, yeah, so Jesus Quella from uh, Argentina, he is a southpaw too. So you know, we're not seeing them step on each other's feet like we've heard that can that can that can happen. What we're seeing is just a really, really interesting. Boxing, boxing match. We're seeing uh, Javante Davis landing, landing really, really hard on uh, on a uh, Jesus Queller. And if, and if you want to hear me talk about sort of the action happening this weekend, go on Instagram and go over to Boxing Time with Evan. That's my handle on there. And um, there's a link to Boxing Time TV, and you can watch a simulation of the upcoming bout between um, Joseph Parker and uh, Anthony Joshua. It's an interesting heavyweight heavyweight fight. I don't want to give too much too much away. Personally, I think that Anthony Joshua is gonna is gonna win that fight. Really want to see him against Deontay Wilder. Really would like to see them again. You know, Dylan Dylan White I think is in the picture, but you know we'll see. We'll see kind of, we'll see sort of what happens as this continues to, to progress. Um, Javante Davis really doing good work in there. This one really broke Jesus Queller down to the body. Lands, a, lands, a, lands an uppercut. And I just think, you know, Quickly in this fight, Javante Davis is is taking over. That's that's my feeling. Jesus Queller now now has a swollen eye. Um, the judges, I believe, are all going to give that round to Javante to Javante Davis. So let's see what happens in this. The fifth round, you have uh, Davis winning. 
um, coming out, you know, in the second round, scoring that beautiful knockdown. Although Queller comes out and goes and goes to the body, but Javante Davis finding a home for that for that right right hand, and oh oh, he gets an uppercut, and Javante Davis just beautiful what he just did there, just a beautiful uppercut, and then a, and then a short right short right hand. That was all he needed to do. Wow, Javante Davis knocks out Jesus Queller in five rounds. A very, very entertaining bout. A very, very enjoyable bout. You know, it, 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 it had its moments there of competitiveness. But overall, it was all Javante Davis here on Boxing Time TV on this simulated, um, you know, pod, podcast on YouTube. The winner is Javante Davis by a knockout. The fight lasted five rounds. Davis was not knocked down. Quello was knocked down two times and has a swollen eye. Thank you so much for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know fights that you would like to see me make. Um, and yeah, uh, just, just very, very happy to, uh, be able to provide you this content. And, um, once again, Boxing Time TV, why wait? Watch a simulation now, compare it to the real thing. Not in any way trying to take away from the actual fight that's happening. It's just kind of helping create dialogue for, um, for, you know, the, the upcoming fight. Beating, beating the drum as it, as it were. Thank you very much. We'll see you at the fights.